These are your ancestors. July 4th, 1776, America got their independence. But the black man and the black woman was in slavery. Right. Chattel slavery, they don't got nothing to do with your people. Right. You will not read that in the book of Leviticus chapter 23. That is not a high holy day ordained to the Lord. Right. The Sabbath day, the new moon, right. the day of atonement, feast of tabernacles, memorial day blowing the trumpets. Those are the days pertaining to your people, my brother. Right. Proverbs 3 and 31. Because that's a whole nother topic. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. You should not be observing 4th of July, my brother. Right. Proverbs 3 and 31 and that's Sirach 34. Read. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Read. Yeah. Envy thou not the oppressor. You know what we're doing when we celebrate our oppressors days? We're envying them. We envy our oppressors because we're the oppressed. Right. So as the oppressed, who do we look up to? The so-called white man. We dress like him, we walk like him, we want to talk like him, we want to eat like them. Yeah. Our black man and black woman wants to do everything that the European, European man and woman does. Right. But what did God say? Envy thou not the oppressor. My sisters, y'all need to hear this information, my sisters. My sisters, come, come, listen to the word of God. Y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in God, my sister? Let me finish this for you, my brother. Read and choose none of his ways. The Bible said choose none of his ways, my brother. Last one, Sirach 34 and 4. Choose none of his ways. What was your name, my brother? My name Taj. Taj. God said, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So in you becoming co converted in your understanding, you cannot be conformed to this world, my brother. You cannot be conformed to this world. You can do nothing that this world does because everything that they do is against God. That's right. Sirach 34 and 4. Sirach yeah. chapter 34 verse 4. Listen. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? God said of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? What clean can come out of 4th of July? When our ancestors were strung off of trees. When they fed our babies to gator bait. Right. When they buck broke our young men, Gee. our older men. What can come from that? What good can come from that? Read up. Read. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? God said of an unclean thing, that's an unclean thing in the sight of God. That is an abomination. That's right. Great. And from that thing which is false, uh -huh. what truth can come? Of that thing which is false, what truth can come? What truth can come out of 4th of July? Bring it out. Nothing at all. Let's so teach. should you, as an Israelite man from the tribe of Judah, be keeping 4th of July? Teach. Are you going to keep it? There you go. That's right. Give a round of applause for the brother. Because right. you should not be keeping that, my brother. That's right. My brother, like I said, the next step, my brother, is for you to congregate with like-minded brothers and sisters. Right. Like today, when the sundown sets, is the Lord's new moon. Today, when it sets, is the Lord's new moon. Did right. you know that was the day you're supposed to observe? You didn't know that, right? It's the Lord's new moon. Meaning what? That we're supposed to come together and congregate. That same law still apply, right? right? But we can cook. We got to come together and congregate. No buying, no selling. These are laws of the Lord's new moon. Bring it up. I'm going to give you one more law. Give me Sirach chapter 43 and verse uh, 6. Read Bring that. Because you need to notice, my brother, this is your heritage that was taken away from you right. during That's the time right. of slavery. That's right. This needs to be brought back to your remembrance as an Israelite man because you need to come out here, build yourself up, and teach these brothers and sisters that don't know who they are. Right. That's why our communities are in such disarray because we are not keeping God's commandments. Right. We do not know who we are. We do not know our God. Gee, Give me that Sirach chapter 43 and 6. Sirach chapter 43 verse 6. So Bring when the sun sets, begins the Lord's new moon. Read. He made the moon also to serve in her seasons. The Lord said he made the moon to serve in her seasons. The new moon is only pertaining to the Israelites. That was a covenant that God gave to our ancestors, right? For a declaration of time. Of a declaration of time. So when we look at the new moon, it declares the times, yes, right. right, Read. And a sign of the world. It is a sign of the world, Read. From the moon is the sign of peace. From the moon is the what? A sign of peace. It's a sign of peace. So when you read in the book of Leviticus chapter 23, and say in the first month or in the second month or the third month, all that translates is the first new moon, the second new moon, the third new moon. So our feast days are based upon the moon, except the Sabbath day. That's every Saturday. But the rest of our feast day is established upon the Lord's new moon. Keep reading. A light that decreaseth in her perfection. It says a light that decreaseth in her perfection. So the perfection of the moon is when it's fully bright. That's why in the movies, why do they always show the werewolf uh, howling at the moon? They, right, it's a full moon, but they make it look like it's mysticism or something evil. But they know it's pertaining to our people. So every time we look at the new moon, we look at it as bad. Right? right? Something bad, but it's good. It's for our people. Right? The month is called after her name. The month is called after her name, right? So the new moon and month, that's synonymous. Interchangeable, right? Increasing wonderfully in her changing. Increasing wonderfully in her changing. So they call it like the waxing gibbous and all that. So as it changes and be it becomes into perfection, it's the full moon. But there's phases of the moon, right? Being an instrument of the armies above. Being instruments of the armies of the above, right? The angels of God, right? Shining 
and the firmament of heaven. Shining in the firmament of heaven, my brother. So that is the new moon. Hey, if you want to know uh, what tribe you come from. What tribe you come from. So all right, my brother, I know you said you got to go, but observe that. Everything that we just told you, make sure you listen, adhere to that. Give us a call and come congregate, my brother, all right? All right, what's going on, my brother? How you doing? Right, brother Caleb, my brother. So you said you don't know who you are? He said his mom. He said his mom is a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, your mom is a Hebrew Israelite. Okay, very good. Uh, what's the nationality of your father? A black man? Okay, a black man. Real quick, give me uh, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. So real quick, uh, Kalea. Kalea. So Hebrew, Israelite, that's not a nationality. Hebrew is a language. Israelite is our nationality. And you come from a tribe, right? Now give me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3, because you said you were black, correct? You said you were black? You asked where my father was. Right. So what's your nationality? Okay, Isaiah 1 and 3. It's all right, my brother. We're going to deal with you. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner, Read. and the ass his master's crib. So the Lord is giving a comparison of two animals. He said, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So he's saying these two animals are able to identify who they belong to. Right? You with me? Read. But Israel. But who? Israel. These are the Israelites, my brother. Khalil. These are the Israelites. Judah all the way down to Neptali. American black all the way down to Argentinas to Chileans. These are the Israelites that God is referring to in the scripture. But who? But Israel not what? doth not know. Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, we do not know who we are. Read. My people. My people possessive. Read. Doth not consider. We don't even consider who we are. We are in Nubianism. We are in Rastafarianism. We are in Christianity. Right. Islam. That has nothing to do with God. Where's the uh, religion sign? Where's the religion sign? Do we got that? We don't got it? So all these religions that we identify with, right? Mormonism, Baptist, Christianity has nothing to do with our people. Nothing at all. Give me Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. So, Brother Khalil, what happened to us as a people? As a nation, what happened to us? Why are we so destroyed? What happened to us? They took our religion and gave us theirs. Exactly. They took our religion and gave us theirs. That's why our communities are so broken down, because we envy the things that they do. When we came over here in slavery, Khalil, you know what they did to us? They beat the hell out of our ancestors. They beat the hell out of us. They changed our names. They changed our heritage. They changed our culture. They gave us a false image of Christ and they destroyed our minds. They destroyed our families. Right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm gonna show you that. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Read it out. And thou, even thyself, Read. shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Khalil. That's Khalil. Khalil. Kalea, Kalea, my bad, my brother. Kalea, Kalea, Kalea. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. So, Kalea. The Bible said that we would discontinue from our heritage that what? That I gave thee. We would discontinue as the nation of Israel from our heritage that God gave us. What is that? Our language. We will lose our ceremonial days. We will lose our civil laws. We will lose our moral laws. Everything that makes up what it means to be an Israelite will be discontinued from us. And like you said, Kalea, we will start celebrating 4th of July, which many of our people are going to keep tomorrow, right? When we were in slavery during the 4th of July in 1776, right? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, birthdays. All these days have nothing to do with our people. But God said what? Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So we would discontinue from the heritage that God committed unto the Israelites.